close, so today we're gonna add the uh, jumping, so right now we have this jumping, so we can jump to infinity basically. And yeah, not really what you would want in your game. So let's uh, make it a normal jumping system. So this is what uh, the jumping actually looks like right now, uh, when we press space we just add an impulse with jump force and vector up. Now. Let's uh, add ground checker and basically we would uh, check if we are grounded and if we are uh, grounded we would add a charge to jump or something like this and we would consume this charge uh, whenever we jump. So, basically, let's go to our legs and say here, and uh, let's actually start with our stigmas. So, let's say we have int private int uh, jump charge charge, and let's set it to one. Now, here let's say if it's greater than zero it would actually jump and let's say jump char jump charge is gonna be minus minus now again let's just check it and we can jump and that's it so okay now we just need to get those charges, so one little thing I want to do is set velocity to vector to zero here, so we would, if we are falling, we would actually stop falling and start jumping, so we are not adding velocity, we are disabling the velocity altogether and adding a force on top of this. Now, here let's say... Uh, public void uh, set grounded and let's say bool uh, value now if the value is true let's uh, say jump charge equals to 1 and for now let's leave it like this now in the ground checker let's say uh, we need the stickman controller so controller and let's say controller equals to get component in children stickman controller now a void on void on a collision enter 2d would say uh, int grounded let's set it to zero grounded plus plus and here if grounded is less than one we're gonna say controller dot set grounded true. Now we also need to reduce the grounded value. So private void on void on collision exit to D, and let's say if. So grounded minus minus and let's copy paste this and pass false here. Okay. Now it would we can get some issues only when for instance this collision is gun or something. I'm not sure if it would call on collision exit, but I think it does so 
basically this value always gonna be zero if we stop touching something and now let's check if it's actually working so we jump and we why we can jump again Hmm. Okay, let's set it to public. I wanna see what's happening with those charges. So one charge. working just fine and yeah now we can actually just add uh, more charges so now to make double jumping for instance we can just say public uh, int uh, jumps let's set it to 2 for instance and let's set it here to jumps and now we have double jumping Okay, so we have one issue now, uh, you can watch closely and you would see that sometimes our jump charges are actually back to 2, right, like now, when we are just starting to jump, so we get triple jump essentially. Now, how can we fix it? So one way would be to check if we are falling, and only if we are falling we would have we would add charges, so let's do it right now and velocity heap dot velocity dot y is greater than zero. We we'll just return. Now, this is a solid way; it would work just fine. Uh, but I notice it also have one issue when we are moving uh, on a hill like here. If you call it a hill, you get it charges very like bug, buggy so I have another way of fixing it basically we can add a timer and see if uh, some time passed after we jumped and only after a certain time we would have uh, jumping charges back and I like it much better so let's say the jump time is zero and here let's say if jump times plus some small value like 0.1 seconds is greater than actually let's just say jump times greater than time and two, 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 uh, time science level load now here we can say jump time is equal to time science level load and put some small value like 0.1f now basically we will we won't get any jumping for the next 0.1 seconds after we actually jumped and yeah it's much better and now we have a nice jumping system and again it works for anything it shouldn't be only for stickmen so yeah thank you for watching and see you next time